Hello YouTube and welcome to tutorial number 16 in the PHP programming tutorial series and in this video we are going to explore the wonderful world of the PHP get function. Now in all the previous tutorials it's been you know well and fine we've actually learned a lot of PHP but what we haven't created is a dynamic feature for a website. All of these could be achieved with HTML alone so now we're going to start exploring some dynamic functions in PHP and what we can actually do here is get input from the user and then use it on our website so we'll start our PHP file off and we'll call this get.php and, and actually we're going to name this as message.php okay and now what we're going to do is up here we need to declare a variable called and it's going to use the the function get. So what this will do is it will get the value that has been passed from the browser to the server um, for the name of that value. And that sounds very very confusing right now, but trust me, I'll write it out and you'll understand it. So what you need to do is put a dollar sign as just like the linear variable, then put an underscore and type get, and then inside this get you need to put two square brackets and then a semicolon and inside here is going to be the name of the variable that we are going to be getting from the browser so it is pretty much just like it sounds we, we are going to get a value from the browser so what we will do is we'll put some quotations in there and the value we're going to get is name so you might be asking how we're going to get this value from the browser how does it work well I'll show you the simple way to get it and then I'll show you the the easy way to get it, the user friendly way to get it to make your website dynamic so what this, what we can do now is type echo actually you know what we're going to do is declare this as a variable so we're going to say name is equal to get name okay so now what we can do is we can echo out um, welcome to the website then put a space and concatenate the variable um, name and then we'll set a full stop. Okay, so if we now go to the, the file message.php, whoops, PGP, it's not going to cut it. Okay, it will say that uh, there's error. It says un unidentified index, and that's because we have not set the variable um, name. And the way that we're going to get this is from the actual um, the actual link in the URL. So what we can type is question mark and that is going to indicate that we are about to pass a variable to the server and then we type the name of the variable which is name and then an equal sign and then a value which is going to be we'll put Chris. So we type this and it's going to say welcome to the website Chris and let's say we want to our name is Tom welcome to the website Tom. So that makes gives a real dynamic edge to the website so let's go back and just read over it. So when we load the page right here, the reason it plays welcome to the website Tom is we're saying, okay, declare the name, the variable name, and that's going to get the value of name from the actual URL. So it's going to use the get um the get function to get name. And we can see up here that we have put a question mark to tell PHP we're going to get past some variables, and then we've set the value of name to Tom. And that has been displayed right there. So we just echoed it out. But that's fine and good, but that's not that's not very well a user having to type that in the URL. So what we'll now do is we will make a new file. So click File, New. And this is actually going to allow us to make a HTML form which will pass the value to the message.php page. So we're going to make a HTML form. Now if you do not know HTML, we'll just learn a bit of it right now. Okay, so we need to make a HTML form, and we start this with the form attribute. So type open br open brackets form, and after that we're going to type action, and this is going to tell PHP what page we want to execute this on. So action is going to be message.php, which is because our page right there is called message.php, and then we're going to just close out those. Um, close out those quotations and then we need to define the method now the method in this case equals get and we will learn about the other um, the other method which is post and that will be the next tutorial 
but for now we're going to use get and what we need to do now is try and get the variable from the user so we're going to just type out we'll put it in bold name or we'll just put enter your name and then we'll just stop the bold and what we need to do here is have an input and in HTML an input will be like a, a white box you can type in so we do this by doing open brackets input then we need to define a type equals text and then this is very important we need to define the name now PHP will get the name of the variable by the name that we give this input box and in here we need to put the name equals the actual name that we have over here so we go over here we've declared the variable as name so what we need to do over here is declare this name as quite simply name so when we've done that all we need now is a submit button inside of our form so we're going to just create a submit button you do that by typing input and then type equals submit and that will submit the form for us and as always you need to end the form with uh, forward slash form tag so let's go over this quick HTML code this is just setting the form action to message.php so this file will be executed after this form is submitted and it's setting the method to get because we are using the get function right here and all we're doing here is outputting the text enter your name and after that we're just creating a simple input box and that the name of that is name that is very important and then the we're going to put a submit button here and we end the form so let's just we're going to save this save as input.php we can save a HTML doesn't matter and we'll go to input.php and also one change we need to make we go back here um, no actually we'll leave it as that for now so we've made both of our web pages so when this the action message.php is initiated from this page is going to take this name right here name equals name and it's going to assign that so get the variable name to the variable name in here too and then it's going to just welcome the name so let's say our name is Bob hit submit welcome to the website Bob and then we can go back we can say our name is John submit welcome to the website John so it adds a really dynamic feature to our website where users can generate a custom mes message so you know I'm just going to go and show you guys what happens if you set this and um, the name to something else so if you want to set the name to um, user and we save this it will not work so if we go back here reload input and we're going to say Chris hit submit and we have an un unidentified index and that is because we are passing the variable called user over here and since we are getting name it's not actually picking anything up so if we actually change this to user and saved it and then just type Chris again it will say welcome to the website Chris so I hope this has been quite a interesting tutorial for you guys this is one of the you know more fun features of PHP I guarantee this is the most fun you've had with PHP since you started and if we go over to here we can also add multiple um, things so let's just add another one under here so enter your age and then I'll also end the bold so we're going to put input type equals text and then name equals age and we're just going to grab the age from the user and then you can go back over here right under here we're going to add a new variable called age and all you do is use the get method again and then we're going to get age and then we can just say welcome to the website name you are and then concatenate this variable you are age years old and if we save that and then we can go back to this page reload it and why isn't that working actually we haven't saved this I think save that reload and I'll actually one second I'll go and add a line break here just to make it more neat so enter your name Chris enter your age 18 submit 
Welcome to the website, Chris. You are 18 years old. And I could have a space there, but it, it's not really the point. So, yeah. And that is the end of the tutorial. So, thank you for watching this video. And if you have any questions about this, please leave a comment. And we will be talking about the post method in the next tutorial. So, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully you'll stay watching the tutorials. And I'll see you next time.